to be the first to address this distinguished gathering in announcing the inauguration of Sri Lanka China Culinary Association. I also like to take this moment as my privilege of welcoming our chief guest, Minister of Tourism Development and Christian Religious Affairs, Mr. John Amratunga. Our guest of honor at this, at this special occasion, the M Ambassador to the People's Republic of China in Colombo, His Excellency Yi Xiangling. All members of parliament, Ms. Imke, Ida Cruz, Germany, management of the Kingsbury, management of Minsu Hotel, Beijing, advisors of Sri Lanka China Culinary Association, my dear chefs, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for being with us today to grace this special location. The relationship between China and Sri Lanka extends for centuries. So we, be, so we believe the establishment of Sri Lanka China Culinary Association would be another step in supplementing this strong relationship between Sri Lanka and China. Myself and our team of professional chefs discovered the need for establishing this special association with one objective in mind, which is making Sri Lanka's Chinese culinary industry to be competitive with the rest of the countries in the region. There are few good reasons for us to consider being competitive. With the Road and Belt Initiative of China, established with the future vision of President of China, His Excellency Xi Jinping, and Sri Lanka becoming a significant trade partner with China, would see a large Chinese tourist segment and a working population patronizing Sri Lanka with, within the next five years. The culinary and hospitality industries would be critical service providers which, which would need to be ready to scale up the production and maintaining authentic Chinese experience in offering cuisines un unparalleled to any other country which caters to the same segment. We are aware that the second highest arrival of tourists to Sri Lanka are from China and expected to grow by about 27% per year-on-year -year basis. The actual number of tourists to Sri Lanka from China was around 270,000 in the previous year. We believe the Chinese people living, working in Sri Lanka would be of significant numbers as well. However, a large Chinese presence would demand the need to provide the food and beverage requirements suited for the Chinese palate. I'm sure our Chinese vis visitors would want to experience the authentic food and beverages consumed in their home country. However, with this exciting news on future opportunities, there are several issues we have come across as well in our quest to become competitive amongst the rest of the countries who cater to our Chinese friends. We also observe we can gain scale by using the new methodologies, techniques and technology to prepare authentic Chinese food in medium and mass scale. However, the most critical issue we encounter is the limited human capital pumped into the hospitality and culinary industry, where there is a dearth of resources. I'm sure most of my colleagues would agree with me how challenging it is to find a resource to manage a basic function in one of the departments in our star class hotel today. Therefore, as a professional association, with the cooperation of similar association in China, we are expecting to become knowledge hub to connect the hospitality and culinary based industries of Sri Lanka and China, enabling platform to skill human resource and build capacity to meet the demand for authentic Chinese culinary experience in Sri Lanka by year 2022. Sri Lanka China Culinary Association has already laid out the plans to realize this vision 
an objective of 2022, and I would like to bring your attention to the following three critical broad areas we are concentrating in. Let me elaborate of our plans a little bit more. We are in the opinion that creating the right learning environment would enable the students to get engaged in the culinary art, culinary art and craft with a lot of enthusiasm. The Sri Lanka China Culinary Association is planning to equip the schools conducting home science subjects with the requirements such as providing knowledge on international cuisines, providing of equipment and introduction to use of new cooking methods, preparation and presentation, meeting the standards in the culinary industry. Honorable Ambassador, we believe the encouragement and acknowledgement of the Embassy of People's Republic of China would be of great strength to the Sri Lanka China Culinary Association in preparing the students to future culinary industry. We would continuously reach out to you for your advice and guidance for this important objective in the five-year plan. We are also planning to launch special Chinese culinary art competitions to popularize the art and craft of making authentic Chinese cuisine amongst the school children. We believe bringing this unique skill much closer to the students interested in Chinese culinary art and craft will contribute to a larger student population pursuing a career in the culinary industry and many becoming professional chefs. We are also laid out plans to associate the special events of Chinese calendar to popularize the subjects amongst the students. The celebration of Happy Chinese New Year, the Dragon Boat Festival, the Lantern Festival, Xingming Festival are some of the events identified to create even at school level as all these events are associated with special Chinese cuisines of uh, Chinese origin. We are in the opinion that small and medium scale restaurants need to be educated, skilled, and equipped, thanks, equipped with the proper methodologies and techniques of preparing authentic Chinese cuisine. If you are to popularize authentic Chinese food, preparation throughout the country. For this purpose, awareness creation programs would be conducted voluntarily by the professional chefs who would be the members of the association. Another critical factor is the unavailability of a formal culinary school specialized in Chinese cuisine in Sri Lanka. We are in the opinion that establishment of a professional institute which will focus only on the Chinese culinary art and etiquettes would enable a larger segment of the individuals working in the hospitality industry to be skilled and certified to serve a growing Chinese consumer market segment. Sri Lanka Culinary Association is expecting to associate with Chinese institutions to establish a formal curriculum a prominent lecture panel comprising of Chinese and Sri Lankan chefs, a professional environment of education with approved teaching mechanism to the students who would want to excel in the Chinese culinary art and craft business. I must state at this forum, we are indeed honored to take the leadership in establishing such an institute to enable the human resource to be skilled to seek better opportunities in the Chinese culinary industry. Honorable Ambassador, we are in the opinion the Chinese visitors and tourists to Sri Lanka has already created liking towards authentic Sri Lankan food as well. We believe popularization of the Sri Lankan authentic food in China would also help the Chinese tourist visitors to explore Sri Lanka with a taste for food in mind. We would sincerely reach out to you in supporting this cause of promoting Sri Lanka food in China, which would help the tourism industry in Sri Lanka and creation of business opportunities in China. We also believe the general public should be aware of the authentic hygienically prepared Chinese food and how to identify them as well. One of the main items in 
our calendar would be an annual trade show which will allow the industry to get together exploring opportunities in Chinese culinary industry. With this mission in mind, the senior chefs of Sri Lanka have become together in establishing the Sri Lanka-China Culinary Association. All our attempts would be to create an industry which will thrive on the new opportunities created to future with strong and growing friendship of our two countries. I must thank Chef Dimitri Kumar Singer, culinary brand ambassador, Aitken Spence, a culinary champion, one of our advisors in the association, who became the culinary champion in year 2014 and 2016 repeatedly, joining with us to take this initiative forward, forward supporting the association. I would like to invite all the chefs who are specialists in Chinese culinary art to join hands with us to fulfill the mission of Sri Lanka China Culinary Association. I also take this opportunity to thank the management of the Kingsbury Mins Hotel of Beijing with their invaluable support to take, make this event a successful one. Especially Mr. Kitsiri De Silva, Director Culinary and the General Manager Kingsbury Hotel. Ladies and gentlemen, there are two special people that I would like to thank, Mr. Indrananda Besekara, President Sri Lanka China Friendship Association, and Mr. Jagat Pereira, Secretary, Kum International Organizer of Sri Lanka China Culinary Association, for their guidance and support to initiate the association from start to the current status where we are now. Thank you.